So it's like, yeah, I can, you know, I'd be a dickhead to be, be like, oh no, if it was me, I'd have thicker skin. No, it's like, I, I bet I'm not most people anyway. I'm more in tune to checking myself anyway. I do recognize my flaws. That's one of them. I, I wouldn't be able to handle that pressure, you know, <laughs> that attention, because I barely handle the attention that I have now. <laughs> and it's not much attention. I mean, <laughs> the most annoying question to ask me, especially when I don't really know you, you know, is, "Hey, uh, when's your next fight, motherfucker?" <laughs> <laughs> Hey, say what? What's your next fight? <laughs> like I said, especially more so, like I said, when I barely know you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if you were to ask me that, it's okay. No, no, I get it, but I'm like just like some stranger. Yeah, some random fucking dickhead, and it's that one. And how much you make a fight? Like I, <laughs> I hate that question too, because it's like motherfucker. That's like the most rudest shit in the world to ask anybody. Yeah. How much you make? Yeah. Period. Not even just for fighting. That's a regular job that's wise. A, yeah, job wise, anything. That's the rudest shit you can do. Ask somebody how much they make. That's bullshit. Like, you know what? You know how much I make? None of your business. <laughs> Maybe I make more than you. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Rude as fuck. Fuck you. Shit. How about that? Yeah. I make fuck you dollars. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> Man, I just got paid overtime. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> rude, man. This is rude. And uh, I get asked that question frequently. And honestly, you would think, you'd, you, one would think it'd be like younger cats. Cats in the 20s, like early 20s and shit like that, that have the audacity to act like that. But no, it's cats that, that are up around our age group. Mm-hmm. Up in their forties, fifties, you would think that would have the common, common courtesy and fucking decency in within themselves and sense to be like, you know what? That's not a question I'm gonna ask. Yeah. But nope, nah. Hey, uh, how much do you make for uh, per fight anyway? Uh, none of your business. Yeah. I don't like talking money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't like talking money either. Yeah. I get that question asked. How much do you make an hour? Fuck you dollars. <laughs> That's my new answer. Fuck you dollars. Yeah. I make fuck you dollars. You want to borrow a fuck you? Here you go. I got plenty of fuck you to give out. <laughs> I'm rich in that, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Donald Trump of fuck you dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. Fucking life fights, I think, as a card next week next month yeah they do I like uh, share that on fucking shit book actually did you shit yeah. book and shit book shit book speaking yeah. of shit book I'm so glad that uh, our uh, not our listeners uh, well maybe our listeners went to our Facebook page and had a lovely conversation about our last uh, podcast wait what <laughs> you know like uh, last episode I said you know let's keep the conversation going no, Go to a Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. You know me responded? Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reaction, guys. Nah, it's all good. Whatever. Yeah. I'm used Just to keep that. listening. That's all I yeah. care about anymore. Um, I thought we did get one comment, though. Yeah, like, I didn't even fucking stand it. I didn't even Look at the website. Either. I didn't really want to click on it because I was afraid to. Yeah. <laughs> everybody has the most got porn. Uh, oh, fuck, fuck, I don't mind porn. It's the viruses. It's like kid porn or something. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, like I click Barn on it. Barnyard porn animals, <laughs> yeah! I'd be like kid porn and like cops are outside. <laughs> You're under arrest. Son of a bitch. God damn it, I just clicked on it. We've been waiting. <laughs> we knew you were going to do it. We got your podcast buddy, too. There. <laughs> he had Vaseline in his hand. <laughs> we caught him in the act. <laughs> Who fucking new barnyard animals would do it? <laughs> Sick bastard. <laughs> but his name was Mr. A. <laughs> He was tagging that bitch up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wilbur. <laughs> oh, Wilma. <laughs> no, nah, man, but, um... <laughs> this personal shit, anyway, I don't even give a fuck with this one. So, like, um... 
my uh, my lawyer, you know, called to check on my license and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, got in this one accident. This was like when I had that that blue Nissan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, which I'm still making payments on. Car I don't want to fucking drive or whatever, you know, because it's fucking got total. But like uh, the whole accident, how it went down is like you know, bitch. And I'm just saying for listeners and shit. But yeah, bitch uh, ran a stop sign, smacked me and shit like that. Oh, she was Actually, at fault. She was at fault. Um, <clears throat> I had insurance at the time. When we went to court, got tossed out. So when he pulled it up, he was like, uh, yeah, they're showing that's a call. Like you have another, another uh, lawsuit. And, uh, insurance, you know, the insurance saying you didn't have insurance, so they're suing you for X amount of dollars they want to sell out of court. And I was like, uh-uh. And, I, and at first, I, I didn't even remember. And then as I was going through my memory bank, I was like, no, that's the only accident I have. Because after that, like, I didn't, ha- I didn't have any accidents. Well, I didn't drive, yeah. you know, for a while. Then when I got the truck, I ain't, the truck the truck that I had, I ain't getting any accidents to that. Because yeah. if I did, whatever the fuck car I smacked would have got <laughs> old. <laughs> Um, then he's our last, and he was like, "Well, um, when I told him that, he was like, he was like, when I talked to the lawyer and stuff like that, I was like, obviously oh, so talked to the lawyer. He was like, yeah, and the dude was cool, but uh, you know, the dude was like saying it was like X amount of dollars, and they'll settle for like half. And then he he was like, well, my client doesn't want what's it called? He was like, I try to make you as poor as make you sound as poor as possible. I was like, that's not that hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like He started laughing a little He was like Yeah I know But uh He was like uh, well, What I told him was like You know my My uh, my client Really doesn't walk around With much money He's He uh He, he, he uh He fights professionally Um But you know That doesn't come What's it called That money Alright Um He was like That doesn't uh he, he doesn't he, he, When he's uh, In between fights He bounces on the weekend And stuff yeah. He really doesn't And he doesn't really Get paid much yeah. You know And the only time He gets like any Say uh, Favorable money Is like when he has fights And then He, he said What the letter lawyer said Was like uh, Don't send them to my office <laughs> <laughs> And they both had a laugh <laughs> <laughs> That's what I really think about it. Like, yeah, that, you know, in the end, if you don't really know me, I sound like the most stereotype. <laughs> you, you'd be like like 6'10 and yeah. like muscle bound. But, but even like that, <laughs> it's like, uh, really, if you just listen to like all the shit, I'd sound like the most stereotype fucking, <laughs> fucking, bo- like, professional fighter there is. Like, you know, I sound like straight from a fucking movie or something. <laughs> What does he do? He, uh, He's a bouncer at night. Yeah. <laughs> Fights on the weekends when he can. <laughs> I sound like a man. I sound, dude, I, right now especially, I sound like a fucking typical, like, stereotype, like, yeah, like movie man. Baby. Yeah, like an 80s <laughs> <laughs> He works in a garage part-time. <laughs> he fights professionally and he bats it. <laughs> And he's gonna be our hero. <laughs> he's gonna save the world. Come in and move. Come in the movies in the fall. Cooking those guts. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> hey yo, you call the disturbance in my bar, and I might have to ask you to leave. <laughs> this, we could do this pretty, or we could get really ugly. <laughs> Ugly like your nose? I appreciate that you wouldn't say that. But you are. No, I, I, I was thinking about that a while ago. It was like, just that alone. And then he brought that up. I was like, yeah, I probably do sound really intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to know him You're like right. What the fuck <laughs> Like he's broke Half the time And And, and, he, and he bounces And he fights <laughs> Professionally <laughs> He should be like I'm also a bounty hunter Yeah Streets of Rockford. <laughs> <laughs>
Hunters. <laughs> Comes a bounty hunter slash bouncer slash professional fighter. <laughs> they took his family. <laughs> Even though he doesn't really have a family. <laughs> but they took it! <laughs> they took Mr. Pickles' his cat. Exactly. <laughs> that was their biggest mistake. <laughs> Kobe does fall. <laughs> he will get his revenge. <laughs> Crooked nose guns. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pickles, I've... Mr. Pickles, I've come for you. <laughs> Mr. Pickles! Mr. Pickles, no! <laughs> no, that's a sequel. <laughs> he wipes out the mob. <laughs> Somehow it's in Rockford. <laughs> this time they just didn't steal Mr. Pickles. They they him. Him. <laughs> no! <laughs> this time it's personal. <laughs> they killed Mr. Pickles. I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Gus, what do you plan to do? I plan to wipe them all out. <laughs> After that, there will be no after. <laughs> <laughs> From the guys that can't write anything original. <laughs> Hollywood! <laughs> We're gonna steal from other movies. <laughs> Make it our own! <laughs> We're gonna throw it in lines. And we just throw lines too that made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> like I walk into a bar Hey uh, what are you drinking there the Survival war You got a <laughs> uh, Okay What are you drinking there I'll have what she's having <laughs> <laughs> So you uh, want a martini <laughs> You had me at an old That's not even an action movie line. <laughs> Um, the show me you the money. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, show me the money. Uh, <laughs> did you ever know that you were my hero? That's a song. <laughs> <laughs> This makes no fucking sense. Uh, uh, you had me at a hole again? <laughs> <laughs> you sorry said that, you jerk? <laughs> Dumb fuck? They may take our lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's very hard, you fucker. You know, no, no, take our freedom. <laughs> you still gotta pay for your beer. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> this movie would be awesome. This movie's gonna be number one in the box office. Exactly. So all all the box offices. Hell yeah. Yeah. This is still both Hollywood and Bollywood by storm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I think that's a good way to stop this episode. What? With that, with our new movie. (laughs) 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 Fucking A. When's that, uh... When's that one trip we're doing? Oh, the one to Detroit? Yeah. Uh, End of April. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that open. Yeah. Tickets, god damn it. You say you're just gonna scoop me up at the work anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. What happened? Fuck yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> George Romero! Like, you're gonna scoop me up that Saturday? Sunday, well, Saturday, like, after. Well, it'll be like Sunday morning ish. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, like, sleep early. I'm gonna go to bed early. Yeah. Wake up, come pick you up, and then. 
drive up there. Yeah. Get up.